Hello guys, today we have uh, a Sir Netbook ES11 ES1 We have no display and There is power but there is no display If you press this There is still no display But we insert it external monitor there is a display so there is no problem with the laptop except the monitor or I mean the screen so let's troubleshoot this guys so first of all I will try to remove the I will try to remove screen cover in front so we can check we will turn off first, it's power on. There. We will try to open this. What is wrong with that? by 6 16 15.6 screen here but they have same um, same uh, connector there turn off first the lap the netbook or laptop and let's insert this thing let's turn on And still there is no display guys for the new screen so there is no problem with the screen here probably the problem could be in the motherboard section so let's remove quick and we will not waste time troubleshooting this screen here because we already test from the other screen this screen might be good so we'll open this netbook I am returning the screen so we can test easily after we will troubleshoot in the back side We are greeted with a very um, dirty board. So the first thing we need to do is to clean the board. So the first thing that we're going to do is to remove the battery. This is the battery connector. So we can work safe. And this is our LCD connector or screen connector. So let's remove this one. Let's remove and clean. Now let's um, apply a little alcohol here. And dry the alcohol. 
so make it sure it's not going to short circuit now let's test again insert the battery <coughs> and let's power on I don't see any power maybe it's not fully inserted we have a switch here probably so we cannot power on without that pressing so there is still no display guys after cleaning the connector so we will uh, turn off you cannot turn this laptop without the back case because there is a small switch here that will touch the back plate to power the device so let's remove again the battery let's remove the connector and let's remove this plate here let's remove the RAM this is the plate for the thermal uh, conductor of the processor and it's very dirty going to apply some alcohol to clean the board here but after applying the alcohol we make sure it's dry before we test we can apply as many as you want but make sure it will dry after before you test We have fuse here to check guys. I think I need to remove this one so we can look in the microscope. We have a screw here in the motherboard to remove this. do also clean it the back we're going to look this in a microscope so we can clearly see or test the components We can look at 
the monitor here. This is our uh, flex cable going in and we have a fuse here. As you can see we have a fuse here. What I'm going to do guys is first is to check the pins is no no um no loose no loose contact this one goes here we have fuse this one is the 19 volts We will check the fuse guys or a zero resistance ohms resistor you should beep guys it's all good so let's check for short circuit or grounding everything seems okay let's run randomly check capacitors guys And I, I, I have found something here, uh, possible water damage, liquid damage here, we have, we can see some um, trace of liquid damage, so we will uh, try to clean this one with an alcohol. Let's do some random check in that place if we have short to ground. So I think no problem there. We just clean that one. Let's review here. So I don't see any obvious other obvious reason that will cause this laptop to have no display.
we can try to check the cable everything here is intact display so let's insert our let's turn off this one and insert our hard drive so I'm I'm uh, inserting a tissue here so so it will press the switch button there let's power on and hopefully it will work So if we insert the hard drive, it will not display. Ah, yeah, there. But it takes time. It takes time, guys. I'll be observing this one for now, and then uh, I will update, guys, if this thing will uh, do the same problem again. But for the time being, what we did uh, make some progress, guys. So I'm not suspecting the RAM because first of all, we connected this netbook externally and it uh, shows external display. So there is no reason to, uh, to tell that it's a RAM problem. So we saw some signs of water damage or liquid uh, damage there, but uh, luckily there is no um, blown components. So we have display now. Uh, let's try to tell the screen if there is some changes. Maybe there's a problem with the cable, but uh, I don't see any flickering issue here. So that's it for now guys, um, this laptop or netbook is considered as fixed and if this netbook will uh, do the problem again and I will update in my next video. Thank you for watching guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and peace.